stop doing that. <laughs> Hang on, because I can't stop smiling. Okay. This, this is, is the weightlifting geek. geek. The, the intersection of technology and technique. And the home of the Geek Squad. Do you want to know more about your camera? Do you want to know what some of our channel goals are? Well, today is a unique video. We have a request from one of our family members to go over the Canon PowerShot SX730HS. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit. We're gonna talk about some of our channel goals. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that we got going on in the future. So stay tuned for the video. We're going to get into the video right now. So we are talking about two main things today. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Canon PowerShot SX730HS. Now this was requested by one of our family members, Buddha Namaste. So um, what we want to do is we want to kind of talk about the camera. Um, I'm going to put a picture of the camera on the screen right now. Now, um, that's a picture of what the camera looks like. But I also want you to see a picture of the dials on the camera. So we'll put that on the screen right now. So those two things kind of give you an idea of what this camera is like and what you can expect. Now, Buddha Namaste asked us to do this because she's had the camera for a while, but she doesn't know how to use it. So I kind of wanted to go over a few things just in case it was something that you were looking at getting. Um, it's been out for a while, but um, some of the specs on the camera, it's a um, digital camera with built-in flash, 40 times or 40x optical zoom, and four times or 4x digital zoom. Also has image stabilizers, um, which helps kind of like the GoPro when recording. So what I've learned about the camera and looking at it is, uh, we're looking at some of the, the features and the, the Canon website about it, is that um, it's a really good camera for what, is, for what it can do. There are some drawbacks. We'll get to those in just a second. Um, the camera has a three inch TFT color LCD widescreen, um, which is really great because this camera fits into that category of DLSR, DLSR. Um, and basically what that means is it has a display. So you're able to see what the camera is seeing as you're using it, as opposed to the small viewfinder and having to look behind it. Um, it also really helps when it comes to vlogging and that kind of deal, because as you saw in that picture, the pop-up screen can be turned around and now you're seeing what you're recording yourself at the time of recording, which is one of the biggest features that I love about our GoPro, is it has a heads up display or a front display. So as I'm recording, I can see what things are looking like and I can make adjustments as need be. So that is a nice feature of this camera. And um, you have the ability to control your aperture and your shutter, uh, shutter, aperture and your, and your shutter. Wow, why can I not talk? It um, has a maximum aperture of 3.3 and a um, width and then an actual maximum aperture of 6.9T. I'm assuming that's height or tall. Um, it's kind of hard for me to, to do a lot because I don't have the camera in front of me. Um, but it does have a maximum shutter speed of 15 dash one thirty sec. 3200ths of a second. Um, and I don't know if you had a chance to see it. I'm actually gonna put a link to it because that's my buddy and I want you guys to get to know him. Um, a photographer's perspective. I'm gonna put a link to his video right there. Boop, boop, boop. And in that video, he talked about aperture and shutter speed. Um, specifically, he talked about shutter speed and how you can use that to control 
the image and quality of pictures as well as videos that you can get and um, and going over this camera it just kind of brought that back to mind so that's the maximum aperture and the maximum shutter speed um, you do have exposure control um, exposure compensation so light light metering method is evaluative center weighted average and spot and then exposure compensation steel image plus or minus two stops and one third stop increments um, so you have the ability to adjust that now I'll be honest some of these things I don't know I'm still learning that's why I watch the photographer's perspective um, he's been a buddy of mine since I can remember feels like since I was Isaac's age but that's not the case but I mean I've known him since 2000 so you're talking 22 years always been a big brother to me and he is knows this stuff left and right and I'm still learning um, but anyway those are the things as far as aperture shutter speed exposure control um, as far as white balance goes you've got auto daylight cloudy light bulb fluorescent fluorescent H and custom and all of those allow you to control the way the picture comes out um, you got the ability to do image storage with an SD card which is great um, the only thing that I noticed about this camera that was a downside to me is the fact that you can't connect an external microphone to the camera so for me one of the biggest advantages of having the GoPro is the ability to take our wireless Go system and connect it like we are right now. So I'm using the GoPro in the studio and I'm also using the same microphone system. So the same microphone system that I use in the studio, I can use out in the field. Later on today, we are going to do some live golf with Little Man. We're just gonna go to the driving range. So I'm gonna put a link to that video right here boop, boop, boop. so when you finish watching the video and I also put it in the description below so when you finish watching this video uh, by all means jump over to the live catch the replay and hopefully you'll already be in the live and you'll get to see your own comments as we go forward so uh, whereas you watch the live so that's what we got going on I just kind of wanted to do this as a way to say thank you to our wonderful family members we've got some great family members that are just so supportive and so helpful and we're just so thankful that you're a part of this it's absolutely amazing um, but what i envision in the future moving forward is the ability to actually do reviews i would love to be able to kind of be like marcus and and some of the other popular reviewers now, I don't know if I ever get to be as popular as they are. That, that's a different story. But um, what, I would love, what I would love to be able to do is for some of these Tech Tuesdays to be able to actually have a sponsored piece of equipment that we can try and give it an honest review of what we think. And it'll be something where we'll have a chance to get it, we'll have a chance to use it for a week, to try it in different situations, and then to be able to give you an honest review on it. I feel like it's something that would help our channel to grow. Reviews always um, attract more eyes because everybody that's looking for that product now begins to see your video as a way to get to know that product. And then in the process of getting to know that product, they also get to know you as a content creator. So I envision that happening for our channel as we move forward. Um, so I'd love to be able to do the reviews, to be able to, to break these things down for you and to help everyone to go and to grow and to get to know new products. Because this whole YouTube situation is not easy. Uh, it's just not easy. And I know I say it all the time, but this is a million times more difficult than what I thought it would be. There are so many things that are involved in making content that you just take for granted when you watch the content. And the things that we do, the sacrifices, the adjustments, and so on and so forth, is so that as a viewer, you can simply enjoy the content. Everything else is handled behind the scenes, and it doesn't matter because you're able to sit down or on the go, watch our content, and simply enjoy it. So that's what we're doing. 
and um, I envision these things coming in the future. Um, I actually am thinking about doing a more in-depth review of our wireless go system the microphone system we've kind of talked about it in the past and i think we did a quick video comparing it but maybe um kind of like we did with the gopro the top five things i love about the wireless go system and that kind of deal so hopefully we'll have a video like that coming in the future um, but I, this is one of those things that i envision us being able to do more because i want to be able to give back and one of the biggest ways to give back is to be able to be a resource for our family members. The things that are of interest to you, I want to be able to review these things, to look at these things, to be able to give you feedback without you having to buy them yourselves or you having to go out and use them yourselves. We can actually give you a perspective before you spend your hard earned money on these particular things. So that's one of the things that I envision happening in the future. Do you know this GoPro stop recording, buddy? It did. So we had a little bit of a, a malfunction. The timer on the GoPro went off. Um, it was actually saying the same time, so I thought it wasn't recording. But anyway, we're back. Don't even worry about that. Um, but that was what I was talking about. The things that we envision being able to do here on the channel to give back to our family. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is I wanted to say thank you to Alan from Alan's Awesome Keto World. I'm going to put a link to his channel right there. Boop, boop, boop. And the reason why I want to say thank you to him is because we mentioned in a recent uh, lunchtime vlog about wanting to do more sponsorships and those kind of things, which is in harmony with what we've been discussing the <coughs> today for our Tech Tuesday. And um, Alan was really nice because he mentioned something that I didn't even know existed. It's called a media kit. And the media kit is what links you to your sponsors. In other words, it's like your YouTube resume. Now we're going to discuss that next Tuesday for our next Tech Tuesday. But I just wanted to say thank you to Alan and um, I wanted to make sure to mention that because, because we're a family, when we mention things, we help each other out. If I had never mentioned it in the lunchtime vlog, then I never would have gotten the information that I needed from Alan. So it worked out absolutely perfect. So now we know what we need to do. We have a path to take now, not just a desire and a mindset, but now we have a path and some action that we can take <coughs> that's gonna get us to our goal. So we're gonna be working on that. We'll go into more depth and detail about that next um, week for Tech Tuesday. But I'm just really thankful because all of these things are what's necessary for us to grow. And I'll be the first one to admit, I don't know it all. I, I don't even know if I know this much. But we're learning as we go. And because we have great family members, we're learning together. So those that already know are able to help us to go and to grow. Oh, I thought my mic was off. Um, so we're in great shape. Everything's going well. I'm super excited. I'm hoping to even have more information for you by the time we record the Tech Tuesday for the media kit. We may even have some responses for some people. There's no telling. But we're definitely going to be moving forward in this direction. So I just thank you all for your help and um, helping us to go and to grow. And that's what we're doing together. So this is going to be amazing. Now, um, Kevin from Tuber Chat had a really good suggestion in today's Tuber Chat live stream about doing a longer YouTube intro video. <coughs> <coughs> so when you do it as a premiere, you have the option, um, I think it starts at two minutes and it goes up to five minutes. And Kevin was saying to do five minutes because it gives more people an opportunity to come in for the live stream. So that's what we're doing for this premiere and that's what we'll be doing moving forward and hopefully it'll get more people here, more family, so we can hang out together, enjoy the video together and enjoy the conversation and the live chat as well. 
wanted to mention those two things with you that's pretty much all we have for today's tech tuesday um and that will bring an end to today's tech tuesday and look who has arisen from slumber what's going on it was a good nap it was a good nap i heard you snoring down there a little bit earlier <laughs> So um, this was little man's idea. He wanted to add that into the video. So Wait, um, I didn't think we were gonna tell them that it was fake. You know what's supposed to tell them that? Well, they know that I'm entertaining. They know I can't put 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 put, 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 put people to sleep. <laughs> entertaining to them. Oh, okay, to them, to them. You know I'm entertaining yeah. to you too. Um, but that's my kinda. buddy. Kinda. Kinda. So. Um, I love to add in his suggestions because I want him to be a part of the channel too. He's a little YouTube creator. Uh, he just don't know it yet. That whole um, football B-roll, the, the, the concentration that so many people have talked about, he just did that on his own. I didn't even tell him that. He just knew what to do. So um, we in good shape. I like to include him in the videos. His ideas are important to everyone and especially just to me. clarify the reason why it looks like i'm sleepy is because laying down for 20 minutes makes you sleepy it does make you sleepy you start pretending you're sleeping and then you actually yes. get sleepy <laughs> so um thank you so much for everything i hope everyone has a great day i hope you've enjoyed being here for the premiere i hope that the information and the content that we share was of some value to you we look forward to seeing you for next week's Tech Tuesday. And what do we always tell them, buddy? We're going golfing today. Oh, yeah. Well, I've already told him that. Oh. I told him that while you were asleep. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> we're going to play golf today. We're going to live stream it too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the live stream because by now you've already seen it. Yes, because we're recording this the day that we're actually going golfing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go play golf in just a little bit. So. As we always say, stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Farts. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Are you ready? Stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Farts. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. You tried to psych me out with the Geek Squad at first, but I knew yeah. that. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Stay strong. Stay positive. Stay active. Geek Squad. <laughs> oh, we got to get a thumbnail. So, um, how do you want to do a thumbnail? Oh, you want to do a thumbnail? Are you rubbing your eyes? Well, if you're gonna do wake up, then I'm gonna. <laughs> I stopped doing that. <laughs> Hang on, because I can't stop smiling. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Alright, so I think we got a good thumbnail, too. I like for you guys to see the behind the scenes. But anyway. Stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Geek Squad! Have a good one. That was, that was aggressive. I like it though. <laughs> All right, GoPro, stop recording.